In this video, I want to answer the question, what is a black swan? No, not that one. This one. Nassim Nicholas Taleb's concept of a black swan and its relationship with risk on projects. There's a very simple, very powerful classification of risks on projects. There are known unknowns, gaps in our knowledge, things that we know we don't know. And there are known knowns, risks that we know about, for which we have a sophisticated understanding, but which manifest with a defined probability, and therefore we can't accurately predict when, we just know with a certain likelihood that they could happen. There's also hidden knowledge, unknown knowns, things that we know, but we don't know that we know. And finally, there are unknown unknowns, things we don't know that we don't know. And these are Taleb's black swans. Nassim Nicholas Taleb published The Black Swan in 2007. In it, he puts forward the idea of black swan events. Black swan events meet three criteria. The first is that they are outliers. They are events that we couldn't reasonably have expected from our experience. Secondly, they have extreme consequences. The impact, whether for good or for ill, of a black swan event is huge. And thirdly, black swan events are explainable after they've happened. With the benefit of hindsight, we can see that they were likely almost inevitable to have happened and we can fully understand them. But without the benefit of hindsight, we couldn't reasonably have predicted them. The term black swan comes from a quote from the Roman writer Juvenal. In Latin, he said, Rara avis in terris nigroque similima cigno. A rare bird in all the lands and very much like a black swan. To ancient Europeans, all swans were white. There was no such thing as a black swan. Ancient Europeans could never have guessed that at some time in their future, they would send ships to the other side of the world and discover in Australia that black swans really did exist. So black swans arise from complete gaps in our knowledge. They're the critical risks that we cannot properly foresee. Taleb also talks about grey swans and white swans. Grey swans are the known unknowns. The things that we know we don't know, therefore we can predict that something might happen, but we have no way of properly calculating what the likelihood is, nor of what the consequences may be in full once they played out. He also talks of white swans, events with significant impacts, but for which we have the data to estimate the probability of it happening. Taleb has gone on record as saying that the 2020 COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic was a white swan event. The likelihood of it happening in any one year was small, but finite, and we knew that it was likely to happen at some point. Indeed, it was accurately predicted by a number of commentators, including by Bill Gates, on the TED stage. He not only predicted a global pandemic, he predicted that it would be a coronavirus pandemic. And he predicted a cost of three trillion US dollars globally. We don't know at the time that I'm recording this what the cost is likely to be, but that figure seems pretty much on the mark in terms of order of magnitude. It will be trillions of dollars. So black swans simply refer to big, 
unexpected events that when they've happened, we can rationalize away and recognize that we could have predicted them if we'd have had more knowledge. But we don't. Black Swan events on your project require constant horizon scanning to spot the earliest signs of them so that you can act quickly as soon as you detect them occurring. In the context of a global pandemic, spotting early cases and acting quickly to prepare stockpiles and to think about quarantining is vital. On your project, you've got to be constantly alert for what's going to happen and constantly researching what's going on in the environment of the project. You can't predict a black swan event, but you can react quickly at the first sign of one. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. I'll be creating loads more great project management content, so please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of it. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.